Hey guys, it's Texas Dickies Glue, and some of you guys may know that for a while now there's been an app which allows you to use your standard Wii Remote to control your Android phone on certain games and emulators. And you may also know that it hasn't actually seemed to work very well with the Hero. For one reason or another, it won't accept the Bluetooth with this, but I finally found a custom ROM that will. And the ROM in question, I'll put a link in the bottom bar, and you need to download that and flash it. Obviously, do an Android backup before you do that, and you will need to be rooted. And then after you've done that, you need to boot it up. It'll take a few times to boot up, maybe boot loop a little bit. Then once you boot it up, it'll look like this. You need to go to the Android market. Let's just zoom in a little bit. And you need to download wireless controller. It's free and it's by CCP Creations. You need to download that. It's called Weboat Control. Sorry, I may have said wireless before. And you also need to download some kind of emulator. I'm using Game Boy for the purpose of this review as it's the only one I've purchased, it's the only one I actually play the games on. And once you've got both of those, you need to open up Wiimote controller and get your Wii remote and then you need to turn make sure Bluetooth is turned on and then you hit the top button which says int and connect hit it and then hold down one and two on your Wii remote and it should scan and then connect and then check all the buttons just let it do that then hit two and hit the bottom one so that Show you again. We control your We controller IME is selected instead of Android keyboard. Then you need to go into the emulator that you're going to be using. So I'm going to use Game Boy. And then I'm just going to go to a ROM which just for you guys who have asked me about the ROMs in my Game Boy video, I usually use ROM Hustler, but I use it on the PC and then copy it across to my SD card. I just find that to be a little bit more reliable. And zoom out slightly. So the first thing you need to do when you've opened up the app, and this you can do this before or after you run a ROM, you need to hit menu, settings, scroll right to the bottom, and there'll be an option user input method, and you need to tick it so that it's ticked and then you need to go up to key mappings and you can completely map all your keys just so that you know how you're using it um, to start with that'll be blank so you have to do that you want to untick virtual keyboard you need to untick virtual keypad just so that's not on the screen and then you can change all the settings to your liking I'm using the full screen mode with no sound as most of the ROMs don't really support sound particularly well so now I've done start a game. And this one is Metal Slug. And as you can see, the Wii Remote is controlling it. Just trying to get that. And we're going to a game just so you can see how this thing works. It seems to run the games a little bit quicker than when you're using the touchscreen on the Hero, which is understandable. And because it's the full screen, you get that benefit. So all the games look much, much nicer than when you play them using your fingers. Because it's just a much fuller experience. Everything works really well. It's really quick. Sound again is completely dependent on the game you use some seem to work quite well whereas others the sound doesn't work at all and if you get ROMs to load try re-downloading them and also make sure you've got the most updated version of the Game Boy app we'll just go into another ROM just to quickly show you and you can also navigate the ROM selection using the controller as well although it does seem to black it out and you can't actually use any buttons to select it so I'm just going to use my finger and we're going to go to Tekken which is a great fighting game 
just show you that the touch, uh, multi-touch with the controller works and um, and you can use the multi-direction so corner up, corner down and stuff like that. So we'll choose someone and if you want any more videos to do with emulators, sort of best games or whatever just uh, PM me because I'm happy to do those as you can see on this one, frame rate is a little bit slower, but that's um, the emulator in the ROM. This isn't the controller. But you can see you can do grabs and everything with the multi-touch of the. It's not really multi-touch, the multi-button thing. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So this has just been a quick look at the Wii Remote controller for the HTC Hero. And if you find any other ROMs that this does actually work with, just put a comment in here and I'll add them to the um, bottom bar just to make it easy for people to find ones that work and yeah so if you've got any questions comment or PM me obviously subscribe if you like this and if you want any more videos and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my videos and support me you can like this up if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video